Welcome back, guys. In this video, we're gonna solve this uh, integer linear optimization problem, but using Lingo. So as we saw in the previous videos, we have an investment bank that is willing to do uh, some investment in four types of investment or of projects. Each type of project uh, uh, needs a certain amount of million euros to be spent. And I know that the capacity of this bank is 14 million euros. At the same time, I have a certain profit for each type of investment and I need to maximize, of course, this profit. What differs this problem for, from other uh, linear optimization problems is that in this problem, I am obliged or it's mandatory to have and integer decision variables. So as you can see here from the sentence, each investment must be made in full if made at all. And from the sentence, I should make sure that all my decision variables, as you can see here from my mathematical formulation, all my decision variables should be integers. And this is what we did in Excel file. And we got these answers in the previous video. The profit is 44 million euros and the decision variables are 2, 0, 1, and 0. All right, so I'm going to do this now using Lingo. And don't forget, guys, in Lingo, you should terminate all your statements with the semicolon, or otherwise, you will have errors. So I'm going to start. You have to start by your objective function. If it is maximum, you should say max is equal. If it is minimum, you should say mean is equal. Now, since this is a maximum because this is a profit problem, so I'm going to say max. Max is equal to what? So as you can see here, guys, it is 16 times x1 plus 22 times x2 plus 12 times x3 plus 8 times x4. Don't forget to put a semicolon. Guys, don't forget to put this equal sign here. So you cannot say max of this function in Lingo. It is max is equal. And in this case, Lingo will understand that this is your objective function. Now here you can do your constraints and you can indicate for the user that these are you constrained by putting a comment here and uh, and this comment is by using the exclamation point so i'm gonna say constraints and then what are these constraints basically i should have that the amount spent or the the, the amount of money of million euros spent for uh, these projects, their sum should be less than the capacity of this monk, which is 40 million euros. So this is the equation that I'm going to uh, write here uh, on Lingo. So it is 5 times x1, as simple as that, guys, 7 times x2. So why am I writing here in a green? Because I'm, I forgot to put a semicolon here, all right? So make sure that you terminate all your statements by semicolon. It's very different from MATLAB. Now the semicolon is mandatory, all right? So 5x1 plus 7x2 plus 4 times x3 plus 3 times x4. And this is less than or equal to 14 with a semicolon, all right? So this is my first constraint. Now, the second type of constraints is the integer constraints, which means all my decision variables should be constrained. And in this case, I'm going to use the built-in function in the library of Lingo that is called the gen. Gen means they are integers, right? So how to call it? By using at. So at gen of what? Of x1. Now, Lingo is not a case-sensitive software, so you can use big x1 or small x1. It is the same. At gen x2, at gen x3, at gen x4. So that's it. Now I, I can click on solver, solve, or you can click on this one. All right, then you will have your decision variables as well as your objective value. So the objective value is 44, which is the same as the Excel, as you can see here. And then my decision variables are 2 for x1 and 1 for x3, and they are also the same as in Excel. So 2 for x1 and 1 for 
accessory. So guys, lingo here in this case of problem is also very simple to be used. Now, in the next video, we'll start by the transportation of problems. And you can see that now lingo will be more complicated, but we're going to find a solution to make it more simplified. Thank you.